Ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, dear handball friends, welcome to Emporio Tower above the roofs of Hamburg, the city of the finals. Welcome to the official draw of the 23rd IHF Women's Handball World Championship. A special warm welcome to the president of the International Handball Federation, Dr. Hassan Mustafa, to the president of the German Handball Federation, Andreas Michelmann, to the Senator for International Affairs and Sports for the Free and Hanseatic City of Hamburg, Mr. Andy Grote, of course to the partners of IHF and DHB, the representatives of the participating nations, and of course to all the supporters and friends of handball. 24 names are going into the head for the 23rd IHF Women's Handball World Championship, which will be played in Germany from 1st to 17th of December. It will be played out in six cities. Group A is going to play in Trier. Group B will be the location in Bietigheim. Group C is going to play in Oldenburg. Group D is playing in Leipzig. And as well, the main round will take place in Leipzig, as well as in Magdeburg. And the final rounds will be played in Hamburg. And of course, we will provide you with further information during the draw. But first of all, we would like to introduce you to the official mascot of the 23rd IHF Women's Handball World Championship, who, of course, is a loyal companion of the German Handball Federation. Please give a big hand to Hannibal. And it's not only Hannibal here on stage, he also has a little surprise for us because these, I will take the gold one, if, if, I hope it's okay. These are the official medals of the World Championship in Germany. And I think there's something more that you can show us about the tournament, right? So as you can see, this is the new official match ball for the 23rd IHF Women's Handball World Championship. Short advice to all the photographers, I can see everybody is taking pictures now, but of course you will have the possibility after the draw to take pictures with our mascot, with the balls, and of course with the medals. So, thanks so far, Hannibal, we will see you later. And now please give a warm welcome. You can applause, of course. Now please give a warm welcome to the Senator for International Affairs and Sports for the Free and Hanseatic City of Hamburg, Mr. Andy Grote. Thank you very much. I think I could use of being introduced as the Senator for in International Affairs and Sports. Actually, I'm the Senator for the Interior and Sports. Um, but we'll think about that, whether we could uh, maybe have one for international affairs. <laughs> Dr. Mustafa, Mr. Michelmann, um, handball, friends, supporters, enthusiasts. This year, the Women's Handball World Championship is being held in Germany. We have come here today to witness the draw of the group stage matches. And on behalf of the Senate of the Free and Hanseatic City, of Hamburg, I would like to warmly welcome you all to our city. Welcome to a city that is truly enthusiastic about handball, delighted, of course, to be hosting the World Handball Championship for the second time, actually, since 1979. Hamburg's handball fans are particularly pleased that the finals will be taking place here. So I'd like to thank the International Handball Federation, the German Handball Association, for giving Hamburg the honor of hosting the final round. We will in return do everything and spare no effort to make it a real shining and memorable event. Lots of national and international visitors will be coming to Germany and Hamburg to watch the World Championship matches. I'm sure it won't take them long to recognize that Hamburg truly is a city of handball. Our city's love of handball was just recently on display when on March 19th this year, the day of handball took place at the Barclay Card Arena. And this event also marked the start of the celebration of 100 years of handball in Germany. Three international matches were held in Hamburg on a single day 
high-class international matches, and it's not every day that you get to see something like that. In April this year, just like every year since 1949, there was a special highlight in our sport calendar, the final four, the final round of German Handball Association's Men's Cup. This year, the final round, once again, drew the attention of handball fans, not just in Germany, but in many other places throughout the globe. This event now, the World Championship, just like all other, mostly all other major sporting events held in our city, is only possible because alongside professional organizing staff, we also have many partners, sponsors, volunteers and supporters who are all contributing their share. I'm sure that the same is true to all the other five cities hosting the World Handball Championship women's matches. People driven by idealism make sure that the tournament will be a fascinating spectacle for handball fans in Germany and across the globe. They're all playing a vital part, spreading the love of handball wherever there are people watching the World Championship matches. So let's look forward to an exciting World Championship, to thrilling matches, fair competition, gripping sport, and a simply wonderful tournament. Wish you all a wonderful afternoon. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Mr. Andy Grote. And now it's a big pleasure to welcome the president of the International Handball Federation, Dr. Hassa Mustafa. Uh, good afternoon. Even I'm um, in Germany that he asked me to speak English. <laughs> uh, Mr. Senator, Ms. Andrea Groth, Mr. Michelman, the President of the Handball Federation in Germany, chief delegations, representatives from different countries, ladies and gentlemen, handball family. I'm very happy to be here with you to celebrate together the draw of the 23 Women World Championship here in Germany. First of all, let me give my congratulations for all the teams you already qualified for this World Championship, and I have a very good luck for all of them, especially Germany, because if the organizers you already have a good team and they continue, it will be one from the best success organizer or world championship and we have a very good uh, experience even in France or also in Germany during the world championship in in Germany here 2007 the men's world championship we have here 24 teams coming from different continent and all of them we are ready to participate and to make a good attractive matches for all of us, for handball family worldwide. And then also that uh, the teams, they have a, lo a long time, a long period that you already qualified for this World Championship through the Continental Confederation. I want to give also my congratulations and thanks to all the Continental Confederations you already organized the qualification of the World Championship. Also, I wanted to give my thanks and my gratitude to the German Handball Federation and the Organization Committee of the World Championship. And I hope that it will be one from the best World Championship because always, if you were really hand International Handball Federation, if you give the organizer for our one from our event for the German, it means we are very relaxed. I hope it will be also like before because the Germans they have a know-how. How you already organize big event like the World Championship. I have a very good experience with German. 
special with the spectators that uh, I told them now that we have a very good uh, record during the World Championship 2007. We already reached 750,000 spectators in this uh, men's World Championship. And then uh, also I, when I was in uh, the draw also draw to, uh, before the men's world championship in France, it was a sport minister and then they already, uh, it, it was a target for the world championship in France to reach half a million. And then I told them how we already, the German already since 10 years, they reach 750. If the, if the French people, they already accept it. After 10 years from the World Championship, it means from 7 to 17 to be uh, half a million. We as the International Handball Federation will not accept such thing like this. But finally, they already it was uh, only 600,000 spectators in this uh, World Championship. But uh, don't forget also that uh, the uh, venues here in Germany, it's bigger than in France. The France they have only, I think, uh, Elel, and then uh, it was uh, for 27,000 uh, spectators. Uh, final, I hope very good luck for all the teams and the, everyone from you come back with uh, very satisfied with the draw because I draw my opinion that it's more and more good luck, and also good luck for, for the rest. Thank you so much. Have a good day, and good luck for all the team. Thank you. Dr. Hassan Mustafa, thanks a lot. And now please give a warm welcome to the president of the German Handball Federation, Mr. Andreas Michelmann. Dear Senator Grote, dear President Dr. Mustafa, dear handball friends, ladies and gentlemen, in the name of the German Handball Federation, I would like to welcome you to the draw for the 23rd IHF Handball World Championship for Women 2017. A special thanks to your Senator Grote and to you, dear Hassan, for your kind words. A warm welcome goes to our Japanese guests who are here in Hamburg preparing for the 2019 World Championships and Olympic Games in 2020. As well as to our World Championships Ambassadress, Grit Joak, and to the representatives for the World Championships game locations. A big thank to the city of Hamburg that we are able to meet each other for the draw of the World Championships here with the background that we will have the final weekend from December 15 to 17 in Hamburg's Barclaycard Arena. As we applied for this tournament in 2011, our intention was and is to shed new light on the women's handball. In this connection, this claim, simply wunderbar, was created. Handball is one of the most popular team sports worldwide and the male protagonists are very present. However, now it is time to give the big stage to the female stars of our sport. 20 years after the women's world championships and 10 years after the men's world championships, Germany is welcoming the world of handball once more. The target 700,000, I don't know. In Leipzig, Bietigheim, Bissingen, Trier, Oldenburg, Magdeburg and Hamburg, the top 24 national teams will be fighting for the title. In just a few minutes, all of the World Championships participants will know which sporting competitors await them. In the name of the German Handball Federation, I would like to thank the International Handball Federation for their trust in us to host these World Championships. A special thanks goes to our partners, sponsors and supporters and on their behalf a very special thanks to the city of Hamburg. 
to all our international guests, we wish you a memorable December in Germany. That will be simply wonderful. Mr. Andreas Michelmann, thanks a lot. As you heard already, the World Championship will be played out in six cities, each of them provided with great handball arenas. And to give you a short idea of what you can expect from this year's venues, we are very happy to present you the official trailer of the 23rd IHF Women's Handball World Championship. So we will now go on to the draw and therefore I have the pleasure of welcoming the competitions director of the International Handball Federation, Mr. Patrick Strupp on stage. Presidents, Mr. Senator, representatives of the national federations, ladies and gentlemen, dear handball friends. A very warm welcome also from my side to the official part of the draw event for the 23rd Women's World Championship. Before we start with the draw, I would like to give you a short and brief information about the draw procedure. As you have heard before, 24 teams have, been, have qualified to this event during the last two years on several continental qualification events. Those 24 teams have been assigned into six different so-called performance rows according to the performance criteria. Each pot contains four teams and in accordance with the IHF regulations, we start from performance row number six with the teams of Paraguay, Tunisia, Cameroon, and Poland. We will then continue with the teams of Angola, Japan, Argentina, and China, followed by pot number four with Hungary, Montenegro, Slovenia, and Korea. Then we continue with pot number three with the teams of Serbia, the Czech Republic, Spain and Brazil. Since now, pot number two, row number two with the teams of Romania, Germany, Russia and Sweden is the next one. I need to explain you that in accordance with the IHF regulations, the organizer has chosen the right to assign certain countries to certain cities. As Annette already told you before, the Group A will be played in Trier, the Group B, B will be played in Bietigheim and Bissingen, Group C in Oldenburg, and Group D in Leipzig. Germany, as host, has chosen to play its preliminary round matches in Leipzig and is therefore assigned to Group D. Further, and this leads me now to pot number one, where we have the teams of Norway, the Netherlands, France and Denmark. Also the organizing committee has chosen to assign Olympic silver medalist France to group A in Trier, the reigning world champion Norway goes to Bietigheim Bissingen in group B and the winner of the last world championship hosted 1997 in Germany, the team of Denmark, goes to group C in Oldenburg. Consequently, only Netherlands is left in pot one and therefore goes automatically to Leipzig to group D and will meet the hosting nation Germany. 
This was a very short and brief explanation about the draw procedure, and now we can start with the real draw. And to assist you on stage, to assist you on stage, um, please welcome Mr. Per Bertelsen. The IHF caretaker chairman of the Commission of Organizing and Competition. And to complete the circle, I have the pleasure of welcoming a very special guest. She has been playing for the German national team for 16 years and until today she still is holding the German national record with 306 appearances and 1,581 goals and she is the ambassador of the World Championship. Please welcome Grit Jurak. Grit, 20 years before, in 1997, you've been playing your first world championship ever, and it took place in Germany. So what is the special thing on playing a home tournament? It's uh, 20 years ago, but I still remember it was one of the best experiences I had. The spectators uh, are on your side, almost all of them, so it was really, really good. Why is Germany the perfect host for all the handball fans all over the world? Um, we are used to be perfect and uh, we will be uh, also perfect in the uh, world championship uh, world championship uh, world championship i think that uh, it will be great for all of the teams and the spectators so what do you think how perfect will be the performance of the german ladies how far will the team come in that tournament i think that we will see them in hamburg and then maybe it's uh, bronze or silver or gold medal we will see so Hamburg means at least semi-finals. Uh, uh, at least. I think the Germans are happy to hear that. <laughs> okay, thanks, Grit Jurak, so far. And now, Patrick, I think it's, start, it's time to start the draw. Thank you. So we then start with the row number six with the teams of Paraguay, Tunisia, Cameroon and Poland. Poland. Poland, semi-finalist at the World Championship 2013 and 2015. Goes to Group B. Poland in Group B. Cameroon. Cameroon. Second participation after 2005 and current Bronx medalist at the 2016 African Championships. Goes to Group D. D. Cameroon to Group D. Paraguay. Paraguay, it's their third participation in the World Championship. Finished third at the Pan American qualification, recently finished. Group A. Group A. Paraguay to Group A. Tunisia. Tunisia, the sixth participation in a row and current silver medalist of the African continent. Group C. Group C. Tunisia to Group C. Thank you for the row number six. We continue then with the row number five, which is Angola, Japan, Argentina and China. Angola. Angola, this is the reigning champion of Africa. 14th participation since 1990 in Women's World Championship. Quarter finalists at the last Olympic Games. Group A. Group A. Angola to Group A. Japan. Japan, the host of the Women's World Championship 2019, host of the next Olympic Games, 
runner-up of the 2017 Asian Championships. Group C. Japan goes to Group C. Argentina. Argentina, the eighth consecutive participation in the, in the World Championship, the host of the last Pan American Championships, which, which finished on Sunday. Silver medalist there. Group B. Argentina to Group B. China. China, bronze medalist of the Asian 2017 Asian Championship, host of 29 Women's World Championship. Group D. Group D. China to Group D. Now we would continue with the pot number four, where we have the teams of Hungary, of Montenegro, Slovenia and Korea. Slovenia. Slovenia. First qualification to IHF Women's World Championship since 2005. Won in the playoffs against Croatia. Group A. Group A. Slovenia to Group A. Montenegro. Montenegro, European champion in 2012, silver medalist at the Olympic Games in 2012, fourth appearance in a row. Group C. Group C. Montenegro goes to Group C. Hungary. Hungary won the playoff matches against Slovakia. Was also participant of the first ever held Women's World Championship in 1957. Group B. Group B. Hungary to Group B. Korea. Korea, the reigning Asian champion, world champion in 1995, and the 17th participation in a row. Group D. Korea goes to Group D. To sum up the first teams, we have been drawing, you can see, Group A, which will be played in Trier. Um, it's about France, Slovenia, Angola and Paraguay. Group B is going to be hosted in Bietigheim Bissingen. Um, there's playing Norway, Hungary, Argentina and Poland. Group C will be played in Oldenburg with Denmark, Montenegro, Japan and Tunisia. And Group D will be played in Leipzig with Netherlands, Germany, Korea, China and Cameroon. So I think it starts, it's time to go on with row three Correct. and two. Correct. In row three, we have Serbia, the Czech Republic, Spain, and Brazil. Brazil. Brazil, winner of the Women's World Championship 2013, host of the World Championship 2011, and current Pan-American champion. Group C. Brazil to Group C. Czech Republic. Czech Republic won the playoff matches against Turkey. 
sixth time they're partic participating in the Women's World Championship. Group B. Czech Republic goes to Group B. Serbia. Serbia, the host of the 2013 World Championship, where they reached the final and lost against Brazil, as we just heard. Group D. Serbia goes to Group D. Spain. Spain, third at the World Championship in 2011. Spain will also host the 2021 Women's World Championship. Group A. And Spain goes to Group A. We are now coming to the pot number two. As I explained to you before, Germany is already assigned to the city of Leipzig, to the Group D. Therefore, we only have Romania, Russia and Sweden in this pot. Romania. Romania, bronze medalist at the 2015 World Championship. Only team who participated in all World Championships since 57. Group A. Group A. Romania to Group A. Sweden. Sweden. Sweden won the playoff matches against Macedonia. Quarter finalist as well, last year at the Olympic Games in Rio. Group B. And Sweden goes to Group B. Russia. Russia, Olympic gold medalist last year in Rio. Record title holder, four times world champion in 2001, 2005, 2007 and 2009. Group C. Russia into Group C. So, with this we have now concluded the official part of the draw ceremony and I would like to thank you for your attention. Thanks a lot, Mr. Strupp, Mr. Patterson. Thanks. So let's sum it up again before we speak about the chances for the German team. We have Group A played in trio with France, Romania, Spain, Slovenia, Angola and Paraguay. Group B played in Bietigheim Bissingen with Norway, Sweden, the Czech Republic, Hungary, Argentina and Poland. Group C in Oldenburg with Denmark, Russia, Brazil, Montenegro, Montenegro, Japan and Tunisia. And Group D in Leipzig with Netherlands, Germany, Serbia, Korea, China and Cameroon. Grit, before the draw you said that um, they will make it to Hamburg, to the semi-finals. Is that still your opinion when you see the opponents now? No, I'm sure. No, you're sure? <laughs> no, I, I think... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, I, I'm really uh, glad that we're not in the Group B. Um, I think it will be a tough uh, group, but um, I'm actually satisfied with Group D. N now the German team have uh, to show that they, they are very good uh, handball players, and they are. Which one is the, um, the strongest opponent of, of the teams in Group D? What do you think? Netherlands, of course. Mm -hmm. But I also think uh, you never know what uh, the, 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 the handball players from uh, Asian do, and Cameroon we never seen, have uh, ever seen before. So Serbia is also t uh, tough, but uh, as it's World Championship, the best uh, teams are there. But uh, I still think that uh, we have good chances to come to Hamburg still. <laughs> And we are looking forward to it. Thanks a lot, Grit Jurak. Thanks. 
And to finish the draw, just a short advice to all the journalists. Of course, now you have the chance to ask your questions and um, have interviews. You can do it here um, before the backdrop, or you can go over there to um, the area we prepared for the interviews. So all of us are looking forward to the 23rd EHF Women's World Handball Championship. Thanks for your attention and have a nice day. Bye.